The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 41. You get the Nasdaq up 11. S&Ps are up 3.5. Gold contracts up $4.30 at 12.34 an ounce. You get silver up 10 cents, $16.70 an ounce. Platinum's up $7 at 9.36 an ounce. Copper flat, 254 a pound. Light sweet crude up 32 cents, $49.45 cents a barrel. Notes, 10 year note flat, 125.15. 30 year bond up eight ticks, 151.17. King dollar crushed. Down 546 ticks, 98.255. King dollars taking out its lows, has the volume behind the move, big volume. The euro is uh, at 110, the, euro, the yen is at 113.5. Um, bottom line is that. Um, just buy anything in the NASDAQ. It's all going up. New highs, new highs. <laughs> it's tough to short those stocks in the NASDAQ, though. And then, Amazon, Google, good luck to those people and, selling those and, companies. And what you had last night, folks, uh, you had all the 13F filings come out. So what you're going to see there, that's where the press is as uh, the fund managers buying, coming into uh, Amazon, coming into Apple, coming into Google, and okay. there's plenty of people that look at that and say, oh, I got to get in there too. Sure. Bottom line. Hey. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade Think or Swim. And folks, don't forget, every trading day right here at TFNN, 12 to 1 Eastern Standard Time, Kevin Hinks, Scott Connor, they got a great show, Swim Lessons. You want to understand options upside down, this is the show for it. And as you're over at TFNN, folks, if you haven't test drove the platform yet, just hit the Think or Swim banner, you can bring it up, you can uh, trade along with them using paper money until you open up that account. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. Welcome, welcome. I'm coming to you today from the Las Vegas Money Show. Oh, oh you are working, working, working. No man. wonder your that's, voice is so that's, exhausted. That's Kevin. right. And it's so early in the morning. Yeah. Oh, my it God. It is. West Coast. Well, time. listen, man, yeah, thank you so much. Unfortunately, my voice has taken a later flight and will meet me here later, hopefully. You got a lot of people to talk to, man. Get that. We need yeah. some warm tea on those voice cords, vocal cords. Get you ready to go out there. I'm sure you got a lot I of people am, primed up. I am sipping iced tea as best I can, Tommy. Okay, uh, perfect. And folks, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, it, it, we're going to send you some good white light because I'm telling you, folks, those shows, and I know we've watched Kevin talk. I mean, it, it's a long show, and there's going to be a lot of talking. A lot, yeah, of, got a lot of talking to go, and it's yeah. only seven in the morning. Oh my God! <laughs> yeah, we'll be fine. You Perfect. will be. You will well, be. you'll have the market hopefully so, to keep you alert and awake and attentive. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you know, you guys are in for a little treat because doing the swim lesson show today are Dan Sebulak and Andy Ionero from our margin risk team. Okay, oh, that's and they're awesome. coming over to do swim lessons today. So they're, they're going to do great. They're going to be two young guys fired up. They're, they're excited to get in there, so I'm excited to listen to them. A little fat, they're, fresh they're perspective coming yeah. into the program. That's yeah. always nice. Yeah. Right. And they're, they're going to give a talk on all the Greeks, and they're going to go through each, all the four ma major Greeks. So they're going to have a – it's going to be a great discussion. I love nice. those two guys. Do you know, the best thing about working at TD Ameritrade, the best thing ever is the young – talent and the energy yes. that the young guys give me so i just i just love both these guys are our rock stars that is so you're gonna really enjoy it your listeners are in for a treat nice. and, and what does happen which is so cool folks is that the they're both from the margin department too so what does happen is that you know bottom line is that you know you can have equities and then you can have your option position on and there's different margin requirements when, when that happens, sure. which, which is which is really cool. And, and sure, you know, and, and these guys will know the answers if you have questions like that. E exactly, which is really cool. Yeah. So hey, listen, mm. I know you, you like yeah. you like the futures market too, man. You know this thing um, inside the futures market, Kevin. It's getting kind of exciting. This dollar is getting smoked. Cattle went right. limit up about a week and a half ago. Cotton went limit up. I'm saying to myself, you know, I hadn't seen this in a while, man. It's like, okay, what do we got happening here, man? <laughs> Right. We're still, you know, the, um, 
The grain markets are all up today, but the grain markets are still still dealing with big crops. Yeah. And things like that. So they may not catch the same um, tailwind that some of the other commodities will. But guess what? The macro effect of a lower dollar is higher commodities. So they may not go as far as some of the other commodities, but they'll go. Make no mistake. Beans are up five today. Yeah. So they're moving. You know, the dollar is a big, huge macro effect on any commodity. No, there's no doubt. And it's like, okay, so... And what's just so intriguing, too, is that, you know, these bonds don't want to give it up. And it's like, okay, this is just so, uh, like, uh, on a fundamental basis, it's, like, so hard to really figure out. Because we know the probability the Fed is still going up on rates. And it's like, well, they're going right. up on rates, but people are buying bonds and they're selling the doll. It's like, really? <laughs> Think about it, Tom. What did you say when you opened your show today? What are the funds buying? Facebook, Amazon, yes. Google, Apple. Right. Well, you know, at some point, every stock is cheap. Even, even even if you hate the retail sector, at some point that's cheap. And even if you love everything having to do with fangs and the new economy, at some point they get overdone. Sure. Remember, right. I was on the floor trading uh, AOL in its heyday. Yes. When everyone thought that was going to a million. <laughs> What company Careful. was that? I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly, Tommy. Kevin, you have a great day. Safe day, folks. We're going to pump it up. We're going to get yeah. people to visit you in Las Vegas, We're Kevin. We're going to hecked out there, totally. too. Totally. That's right. Have awesome. a great one, Kevin. Have a safe one. All right, guys. Always a pleasure. Have a great day. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 34. Nasdaq's up 9. S&P's are up 250. We're going to be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or books both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24 seven is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30 day money back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavent Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now. 
toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is up 31. Nasdaq's up 8. S&Ps are up 2.5. Uh, let's go inside this market and see uh, what's happening inside the Dow first. So uh, leader inside the Dow, you get Home Depot putting uh, 20 points into it. Goldman's putting 9. We get Big Mac putting 8. Johnson & Johnson, 5. Taken away from it is United Health's taking away 15. Nike, 5. Uh, Disney, 4. If you do go over to Home Depot, I heard that on your update this morning, Tom. Yeah, some pretty good same-store sales, right? Yeah. Something like 5.5% versus 3.9%. 39 that's already an expected, nice, you know, analyst expected. 5.5%, um, that's quite an increase for a company like Home Depot, same-store sales. It is, and you get an ABC up, you know. Yeah. Bottom line is that even if I do it the most conservative, your A point would be one, B point rather, 156.25. 145, so approximately 10 bucks, 11 bucks. So you got 163, 164. Sure. Yeah, I think their revenue was like, was like 200, well, I don't know, 2 billion versus 1.8 billion. It's like, man, $200 million year on year. It's huge growth. Yeah, the, and the cool thing is that what, what I'm digging about this right now is that people aren't over their head. This is not, there's not liar loans out there. Sure. Do you know what I'm saying? Sure. So people actually really are doing their houses over sure. with money that you know, most of them can, can afford, which is really yes. pretty cool. Yes. Uh, if we go to the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. Um, sorry, folks. Oh. Bless Excuse you. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, inside the uh, NDX 100, you have uh, Vodafone uh, is up 4.3%. NetEase is up 2.6%. Baidu, 2.1%. Uh, taken away from it, Ross Store is down 1.8%. Uh, Dollar Tree down one4 uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines down 1.1. 1. 1. Uh, what is Dick's Sporting Goods? Let's see. Dick's. Yeah, um, yeah there it is right there. Because I was seeing that that was supposedly down. Yeah, that's, that's down, all right. So look at that. That's in that. That's Now, that's another indication that, boy, oh, boy, this is a monster ABC down. Holy cow. Your A point is 62. Your B's 46. So 14, or like 16, 16, yeah. yeah. Like 35. 35, man. Not far away. No. And I guess, you know, a, a lot of this, what happens is that as soon as, like, you get a big store going out of business in the mall, then most sure. people go to the mall, right? Sure, right. And then it's one goes on effect. top of the other and on top of the other, right? Yeah. Yeah, pretty I mean, well. They have a Dick's Sporting Goods at West Shore, and I've been in there, and it's not cheap, that's for sure. You know? No, it's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not. I mean, they, that's, they, have, they have the high end, you know, just Nike, Under Armour, right. stuff like that. Right. Yeah. Um, the dollar index, okay, this is, you know, this. it's not that there's divergence out here this morning, but what you do have, folks, is that this dollar, you know, this is taking up, you know, your, your low of 98.355. Um, it definitely has some good volume behind the move. You know, we made a high last week with 18,322 contracts. We've already done 19,800 contracts, taken out a swing low that had 29,000 contracts. So we're going to do more than that. Uh, and when I say divergence, you don't have the gold contract taken off like you could expect that it would be taken off. You know, you only have four, 490. Sure. And you, you're getting a little help from the yen. Not a huge amount, but you're getting a little. It's only down, well, it's only down 36 ticks, which is nothing really. Now, when something like that happens, that divergence, folks, is going to change. <laughs> you know, there's no way that this dollar is going to get smoked and the euro is going to go to the moon um, without throwing a wrench in inside markets. Sure. You know, I mean, look at that euro. It's huge, right? It's huge. And, you know, when we talk the euro and we talk these other currencies, folks, okay, um, as you come over to TFNN on the front page, this is a great time. Hit that. You go over here. We'll talk about Steve Rhodes, too. Steve's going to be doing a workshop tomorrow night. But you hit that Everbank banner, 
um, these foreign currency accounts, if you're just looking to put dollars into a different account, this is a great way of doing it without trading. Sure. You know, right. but just you diverse your, your diversify it. Definitely. Yeah. No, you, you can, know. you know, whether it's starting at a hundred dollars a month, right? And then yep. you're just pricing it in every month, contributing uh, automatic purchase plan, right. or you're just going in there with 2,500. Yeah. I think it's 25. Let me just see. I believe. Yeah, we're on the automatic one, but I think yeah. the uh, yeah, two, two thousand. Yep. You, you can open one for two thousand five hundred, um, or you can do it as you open it with a hundred dollars per month. Exactly right? Right. right, and there's no monthly fee. You get, you still get, you know, uh, cash management accounts, so you're getting a yield on it. The yields aren't big, I'm sure. <laughs> no yields are big these it's all days. All compared to what you're getting right, right. in the market. Yeah, um, it's FDIC insured. It's IRA eligible. Um, you know, bottom line is that, um, you know. Can diversify into currencies, or if you're going to use them, you're going to Europe, you're going to, you right. You know, Britain, you're going England. To, you're going on vacation. Right. If you're going to go spend five grand, go put five grand in there now, and you know what your cost is. For sure. You know that's that's what you know that's what it really comes down to. So, yeah. Um, out here today, the GDX. What we are going to get, and what you're going to see out here, um, GDX is flat out here today. But what you are going to see, so. These 13F filings. Now, this is a good one. Um, when I say a good one, what I mean is this: is that Stanley Druckmiller, uh, Druckenmiller, Drunken, Drunken yeah, is it Druckenmiller? Druck, Druckenmiller, not Drunken. Drunken. Don't ask. <laughs> Druckenmiller. No, I no, wouldn't get that end out of there. You can't I call him Druckenmiller. I wouldn't want to do it to this poor guy. Drunken. Drunken. This this guy, it was him and Soros that busted the Bank of England. You know, okay. that's what he's famous for. Okay. And then they, uh, he left Soros, I don't know, maybe about 10 years ago. But what does happen with this guy, this is like a big name guy that people watch. Sure, okay? yes. Okay, so when, they, when he's either going into gold, now, so he went into Barrick Gold. Sure. Um, not, not that big though, see, it's only 2.85 million shares. Now, that's huge for you and I, but for him, that's not a, that's not a lot. I've sure. seen this guy go in like a lot more than that. Sure. So. I mean, it's still almost a fifty million dollar position. Yeah, no, no, it is. Yeah, you can buy almost all of a lot of companies in the gold market exploration business for seventy five, a hundred million. You know, to put things. No, no, that's I, a decent. I, oh, it, it's good when he goes in, man. I like it when he goes and in. It's not an eight or ten million dollar position, right. which fifty million. It's got to be some conviction there. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. it's it's you know it's. This is interesting. There's a lot of high end guys right here that. that David Ihon said he's betting that uh, the government debt and rebound of gold to God against inflation. Uh, this guy here, Jeffrey. Uh, yeah, Gunlock. Yeah, he's a he's a big bond player. He is. Says so not. Not time to give up on gold. Yeah, I mean the prices are luckily having. Templeton bought 12 million shares of Barrick. Yeah, taking us holdings yep. to 18.2 million. Capital Group. There you go. They bought 35 million shares. Yeah. Now, so this they're the third largest shareholder for Barrick. They are, and this is um, this is a monster mutual fund. I forget the name of it. I sure. Should, I should know the name of it too. That um, would make sense. Only yeah. 35 million times 17 bucks. What are you talking about? That's a half billion dollar position versus. Yeah. So you're going to get all these things coming out. Well, they're, they're all they're all public information now, as of. Uh, Basically, last night. Sure. Uh, Dow right now. Uh, hey, what happened, man? Are we negative? What happened? I don't know. Something happened. We've, we've Dow's completed. down two. Nasdaq is down three. S and P's are down one. That's pretty wild. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. Everbank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials are down uh, six. NASDAQ is off five. S&P is uh, flat. Let's go to our man, Tom at Plymouth. Hey, Tom, what's going on? Hey, good morning, Tom, Tommy. How you doing, morning, man? Tom. Oh, I'm doing pretty well. Yourself? Good. Has spring sprung up there? It certainly has, right? Well, well it's going to be 70-something today and maybe 80 tomorrow and possibly 90 the next day. It's uh, like, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got our shorts on. and uh, It was cold this weekend. It snowed up in New Hampshire a little bit, so it was cold. Wow, <laughs> wild. Well, you're going to enjoy today, man, that's for sure. Yes, yeah, yeah, today's a brand new day. Sun's out, and it's nice and warm. Perfect. It's almost like Florida weather. Yes. Almost. Well, no, it, it would be if it's that warm, that's for sure. <laughs> Gee. So, uh... Yeah, so I jumped into this degas on Friday, and I'm wondering what you think about this. Um, it looks like it's, uh... Well, some people look like they're buying it today, so... So this is the, the Velocity Shares uh, inverse natural gas, uh, three times inverse natural gas uh, ETF. ETN, either way. ETN, yes. Uh, okay, so. Trading off the UNG. Okay, so. Triple inverse of that UNG. Yeah, so we there. pull up the UNG for a second. You had 754. Oh, yeah, so this gets up to its swing point, 12 million, 12.4 million, you did 7.4. Okay, so you tested 7.4 versus 12.4. Another question is... I mean, I've, got, I've got a $2 profit today, over a $2 profit, so I'm like, oh, maybe I should just uh, move, move up the stop, which I did to 19, but I need to move it up a little. Now, but, uh... Okay, so let's... Oh, that's not that a pretty little thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can put the stop right under 1931. I mean, I know that's close, but that's where that juice just came in from. Let me. Well, so this yeah, is... Like, let me just... I'm going to bring up the... I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tom. It looks like the, uh, you know, just in the last half hour or so, man, it moved up from the 20 range, not 1920s, into the 1940 or 50 range, you know, so... Yeah, now, and this is, I just brought up the actual contract, the natural gas contract, 
and this is coming this is this is down with some volume I mean this thing wants to at least test 329 you're at 334 and that's a big move in the in the natural gas market that's for sure you know I, I'd say I just bring up the stop and, and see what you can get going what you have yeah, happening good. here and that's what it looks to me like like when I just said to Tommy I can't you know I said wow we went from green to red pretty quickly if we go over to that dollar what you're gonna see folks is that the dollar made another leg down of about another hundred ticks I think this dollar is gonna be down like a thousand bucks out here today so we'll see where this shakes out but so I mean if this natural gas if it if it uh, you know I would think the inventory build would start to, to increase in these weekly uh, inventories you know uh, unless it really gets hot and we use a lot of air conditioning, but I mean, it does. It seems like there's more production coming online too. No, that makes sense. I mean, that's you know, that's would be the fundamental case for it. Yes, it would. <laughs> um, you know, technically, I think the thing's set up right right now. But I, I just just bring up your stop, man. I mean, you're you already yep. made you already made your money, right? Right, right. So okay, I'll just hang in there. If it, if it's if I get stopped out, oh well. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we go from there. Yep. I mean, when you make two bucks overnight on a yeah, seventeen dollar stock, right? In two days, yeah. No, you, I can't. I can't kick that. No. Well, all right. D, I see. I see. I see. One second. Yeah, I mean that's that's some good money, man. Cooking, brother. All right, man. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. The uh, it's going to be interesting to see if they can that Nasdaq uh, actually stays green. Sure, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, the the Nasdaq. Uh, if we pull this Nasdaq up, folks. Okay. I mean, how many times have we been on the air at the ten o'clock hour and it comes down five points and by the end of the day it's up fifteen, right? For sure. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like what you do have is that. So this this sell down was a good sell down. There's no doubt. Yeah, right at 1020, right? Yeah, you get 9,200 contracts that were sold, and it looks like this thing's going to try to break these lows out right now. If you get under, now where I'm going with this, if you go to yesterday, if you get under 56.99, which is another five points, then you're going to you then you can get some traction on the way down. Because you know, th this is where yesterday... It's kind of the surge of the open it in is, general. It the is. The high of that. Yeah. And you see how they took it down first yesterday? And said, no, we're going to fake you out. We're going to bring it up. We're not, this, we have no sellers out here. Sure. No sellers whatsoever. Um, if we go over to the S&P... Take a look at this S&P... We're at 2397. Now this is going to get interesting because 2397, no, 2396.50 is the number to keep your eye on, you know. And that's the, that. I'm taking the first bar, the first bar that we come down, not the bar we're on right now. Because okay. if you get underneath that, it's like okay, you can go all the way back over here to 2392. Yeah, same thing. Kind of yesterday's open. It is. It is. And the real question is going to be like, okay, so one of the larger trade is someone went against that and they went against it simultaneously meaning all the indices at the same time and that's how they like to trade the, that uh, baby what's going to get intriguing here is watching this gold contract because when we started the program that you still get divergence gold isn't up in in my aspect is where it should be up inside that uh with that dollar yeah so you know you're up 580 right now i did 120,000 contracts that means that gold will do maybe 220,000 contracts uh, out here today, which is good contract volume, and we'll see whether they can get the price going. I definitely like what Silver's doing, though. Silver finally caught a bid. You know? Yeah. And that was yesterday. It was a good bid yesterday. Silver, the silver market's so weird, man. <laughs> it's it really, volatile, that's for sure. It is. It is, like, so volatile. I mean, look at that. That's, that was a good bid yesterday. 80,000 contracts. You got to 1681. And the number you want to keep your eye on in silver 
is like 1692, folks. And where that is, you know, that would bring you in the higher range. You know? sure. And of course, don't forget, uh, today we got um, our man, Mr. Andy Hecht, on because it's Tuesday. And if we actually get over and we take a look at TFNN, our man, uh, there it is, right there. Five essential part uh, tomorrow night, right? Five, <laughs> Five essential patterns for timing the market, correct? Yeah. For sure. Tomorrow night, May 17th. Today's the 16th. Um, so, of course, Andy Hack tonight from 5 till 6. Yep. Tomorrow night, you'll wrap up your show at 5, and Steve will be in there with his subscribers at 5.30 for an hour, going over kind of the five patterns that he'll be talking about that he uses, essential for market timing. So get in there. You can get a free trial. You get a month of his newsletter. You get, of course, the workshop tomorrow night, and you get instant access to his money management webinar as well. Great deal, great newsletter he puts out there. Check it out, folks, right in the front page of TFNN. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Right back, folks. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is down 40. Nasdaq's off 8. S&P's are down 3.5. Uh, gold's up... Uh, where is she? She's up 760. Uh, dollar index is down to 701. You have the yen off 72. Uh, and these currency traders are waking up, Tom. I think a lot of people are waking up right now, right? Yeah. I mean, the currencies are moving, but yeah, you get the you know, S&P at 2394 now. We're at the 2400 mark as we started the show, six points. 
which in terms of where we've been lately is quite a move. It's, I know. <laughs> Everything is perspective. It, but it is. It's pretty funny, though, I know. It is. Uh, so yeah, you are down four points, which is like the end of the world. Sure. Um, you know, we're at the 2394, and it looks like 2392 is yeah. coming at us. And we're only down four, but if you look at where we were at like eight or nine this morning for the high. Yes. Can you scroll over where we were this yeah. morning for the high? I mean, what's that? 24, yeah. So we're down 10 points more from right. that high just at the market open. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good move. Uh, let's go over to the yen for a second. So the yen just stopped moving. Oh man, stop moving. That's Holy it. cow. Look at this. Now this gives this this yen, man, this yen, it blows my mind that it loves moving when you know when we're open. You know, and I was doing the, the webinar this morning. Sure. The yen was right up here and I said it's gonna be interesting. So what had happened, folks, is that last night, the yen had three lower highs. And it's sure. like, okay, man, are you going to try to make that run down there? Well, it has. And what that does do, like ASAP, is put a, a little bit better bid inside the gold market. There's your correlation. For sure. And, you know, what you're doing now is that, so we're going after a high volume high from yesterday. And it looks to me like we're going to have the volume behind the move, which is really cool. So the high volume high from yesterday was 1237.40. That's where we couldn't hold price. We, you know, came all the way back down. You had 68,000, con no, 6,800 contracts there on the 10 minute. And we have just done, yeah, 9,300 contracts. Sure. So um, hold on for the ride, folks, because <laughs> uh, I suspect uh, if the dollar, you know, gets a little more juice as we come through the trading day, it's going to make a difference. And how know? about the GDX? How are some of those stocks as gold's creeping up there? Yeah, so the GDX, you know. Yeah, not too it's much. Not too much yet. It's, it's, it, it wants to go up there and test it. You know, it's like a... How about maybe after Barrick and Newmont's ticking? Yeah, so Barrick is the largest weighting structure. Um, yeah. Flat. Newmont... Flat also. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what? Royal Gold. Royal Gold's good action. That's up 74 cents. Franco Nevada. Now, what does happen, both of these, Franco Nevada and Royal Gold, folks, they're two of the largest just pure royalty companies. And what I've seen is that when they move, your probability is much higher that the metal's actually going to sure. move. Like, like, how does that work? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, okay, how, how does whoever, how does the market know that? You know? Sure. You know, so... Um, and, and you know, guess what? The the NDX still won't give it up. The NDX is still up three three bucks. You know, it, yes, it just won't go red. And uh, inside of that, Vodafone up yeah. four point two, NetEase, INCY, and Baidu.com. Let me see Vodafone for a second. So Vodafone is up a buck fifteen. Oh, look at that gap higher. What is going on there? What is this? They lift their profit forecasts. Okay. Now that, you know, what, what is wild is that, you know, how many times have we brought up the NDX and Vodafone's there? Yeah, they're volatile, right? Yeah. I and mean, you can just see it when they're only a $24, $25 stock and you're jumping up a dollar, jumping down $2. Exactly. You know, $2.60 is going to be 10% there, so. Yeah. And, you know, so, so watch what they have here, too, now. This is where this gets interesting. Because this is a... Uh, it's trading in the United States as an ADR. Sure. Because That's its main gaps, right? Yeah, because yeah. its main, you know, market is the United Kingdom. And because of the fact that uh, you have the dollar going down, that makes that worth even more money. Okay. See today. Sure. It's, it's it's gonna be pretty it's pretty wild watching that baby shake out. Um, bonds bonds are still saying, you know. That something else is just, uh, whether it's something else is just hanging out here or, you know, the market itself is going to really start paying attention to um, earnings that are, like, sky high and, you know, you're paying up for the earnings. Um, you know, because the, the bond market out here today, we just took out the swing high from last couple of days, and this very well can be an ABC structure or uh, a big one I'm talking about, not that this whole structure that we've been in 
since March 14th could be an ABC structure sure. on the way up. And if it is, you're talking about like a 128 and a half on the 10 year, which would be pretty wild because right now we're at 2.3 again. Yes. That's yes. pretty good, man. It is. <laughs> 2.3. Seriously. Um, it, that's, <laughs> it, it really is. It's pretty hard to believe, actually. Um, the DAX is down to six bucks right now. Uh, Silva. Silva's on the run again. That, that number on Silva, 1692. That's, we're a long way from that right now, but that 1692 number. Uh, it's something you want to keep your eye on. Only 17 pennies. Yeah, I know. For silver, that's not bad, mm -hmm. right? I know. Um, Exxon, Exxon's up. Well, let's go to that oil market, actually. So we get oil numbers tomorrow, gas numbers Thursday, right? Correct. Uh, and then after the... Uh, yeah, we have API tonight, right? API tonight. So we're at 49.25. That's, that's having a hard time, too. That was a good spike yesterday, though. Yeah. You did 49.97. Yeah, that was Russia and Saudi Arabia, of course, saying that they're going to keep those cuts. Right. That's Andy Hex, $50 level, man. That's it, There's right no there. Doubt. Every, everyone's happy at $50. <laughs> and here, let's go to, not, let's go to uh, gasoline, rather. So, because I think gas, gasoline affects us all. So, 160 uh, unleaded uh, wholesale right now. It's not bad. No. No, definitely not. 877-927-6648. Uh, you get the Dow right now down uh, 31, NASDAQ off 5, uh, S&P's uh, down 2.5. Um, yeah, the dollar's uh, hanging out there. The euro, that's got some good juice. That's almost hitting 111. We're at uh, 1, let me see if it hit 111 yet. 110.89, so it's 11 ticks away from it. This looks like it's gonna just, so watch, if you look at this Euro, folks, it's just, yeah, it just got back inside its larger range. It's 109.13, yeah. So, I mean, the Euro has got a shot of running for 116, man. That's pretty intense. Yeah. You run, you run to 116, um, <laughs> that doll is gonna be running for 91. Sure, big moves, right? It is, it really yeah. is. It's like okay, so, you know why, you know that's that's saying that these interest rates are not going to go up. Either that or, I don't know, the short term rate can go up, but everyone's going to keep buying bonds, and then the yield curve is going to be flat beyond belief. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Dow's down thirty three. Nasdaq's off six. S and P's off three and a half. We're going to right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. A Rubik's Cube offers more than 100 million starting positions, resulting in 43 billion billion potential twists and turns. Yet, this puzzle can be solved in 20 moves. Knowing the right move makes all the difference in the world. And on Wednesday, May 17th at 5.30 p.m., I'll share with you the five essential patterns for timing the market so that you can make the right moves and become a better trader and investor. A few weeks back, I showed you how to spot a bear market with two moves that the market always makes. And on Wednesday, I'll unlock the five best moves for timing any market for any time frame. 
To gain access to this extraordinary one-hour workshop, test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probability, for the next 30 days for free. Just visit the homepage at TFNN.com and click on the link, Five Essential Patterns for Timing the Market, and you'll be able to attend live as well as review this workshop anytime during the next 30 days. I'm looking forward to helping you solve the puzzle of the markets, and I'll see you on Wednesday, May 17th. TFNN.com, we've got your back. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with hosts Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. The Dow right now is down 24. Nasdaq's off 4. S&P's are off 2.5. We have a question about uh, TGB, uh, if there's anything happening with it. So, Toseco Mines, folks, is a big uh, copper stock. Uh, let's go to copper for a second, because it looks to me, I think this copper market wants to bounce here. So if we go to copper first. Okay, so we're at 254. And, you know, this has been a consolidation. It held that low of 246. So it's like, okay, you're going to try to bounce back up to 263? Because I'll show you SCCO. Um, this is the largest copper stock out there and this baby looks to me like it's it wants to bounce up to like the 36 area and tgb you talk about catching a bid yesterday man look at that bid this this caught a big bid and tgb folks has a high volume high at 163 and it very well may be a very large abc structure on the way up <laughs> this is a personality stock uh today of news yesterday and all that i was pulling it man and, I, and it wasn't i couldn't really you know, I mean, no, see, we're it was, already back. It was There's last nothing. week. Just I know. Just look at the date now. Yeah. yeah, you know, and so, you know, I had put in in the goal report this week that I thought COP was getting a bounce, but for, the, for those two, um, you know, but that's yeah, we'll see. You know, yeah. when they move, man, when TGB moves, man, it it moves, and guess what? Take your money when when they finish ABC structures on the way up or the way down too. So you stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next, and then uh, of course, I uh, think it's when uh, we're gonna. Well, we'll do that from. Uh, oh, I guess we'll do it from Chicago, um, even though they're in Vegas. I believe so, yeah. Then uh, Dave, uh, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, myself, Andy Heck, uh, coming back, and then tomorrow uh, we got our man, Mr. Larry Presidento, coming back. He is totally. That's the. I'm that's, sure we're all excited, and thanks uh, to Basil filling in, of course. It'll be coming up again. Steve Rhodes jumped in there, but a bunch of good programming. But yeah, it'd be great to have Larry back, of course. Big time. Yeah. And watch that dollar, folks, because the bottom line, it's uh, you know laying around that six ninety seven hundred, and there's no reason to can't go into the thousand uh, level. Uh, down out here today. Yeah, because, down 700 almost. Yeah, you, you, you broke you broke those uh, lower levels, and there's not much holding that uh, baby up right now. The yen is the is the big move too. That that was that was a very fast move uh, inside that yen, and we'll see what kind of a, basically uh, selling can be done in the Nasdaq. The NDX 100 just will not give it up, and of course, um, you know, right out here today it's Vodafone that's holding it up. Let's just go see. King Amazon first. Yeah, Amazon's up eight dollars. Yeah, that's is that gonna? Yeah, that's a new all-time high. Yep. Google is up three seventy-five. Yeah, that that'll do it, right? Oh, let's go to Facebook. FB. 
I mean, there's a certain validity to the fact that I think if you buy those stocks and you're willing to hold them for any period of time, that you'll probably be okay. Yes. You know, right. that's what you've probably right. seen out there, as in there's probably a lot more risk with some of the other equities that are at inflated levels as opposed to, you know, yeah, you could definitely see some pullbacks off those valuations for a year or two, but bottom line is... Amazon's only growing at leaps and bounds. But that's know? right. How long a hold are you? Yeah, you know, I'm, yeah I'm because it. eventually exactly. it looks like the earnings are just going to keep going. Right. So because they've changed the industry. That's it. it. Yeah. And yeah. they're still changing it as we speak, it's which is exactly. remarkable at that right. price level. But and all you have to do is look at the retail sector. I look at the malls, folks. As, in fact, SPG. This is this is a wicked heads up. This is a confirmed ABC structure down to 135. Two. Sure. 154. This is the largest a mall holder and the United States. These are the best malls. That's sure. SPG. And it's held up the longest, but guess what? Not any longer. Yeah, I mean, if Dix is in trouble too, they're in a bunch of those malls yep. for sure. That's Dix, that's Macy's. Right. These are the beautiful Nordstrom malls. was having yep. problems, yep. Nordstrom, yep. You stay right, you stay right there, folks. Uh, I'm at Mr. Basil's coming up next. Dow right now uh, down 31. NASDAQ off four, SPs off two and a half. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Oh, bam! Go get them, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.